Good morning, everybody. I am getting ready to go ride my bike. Gonna do some Pelotonia training. And I have to make breakfast because you gotta fuel your body. Hat on because, well, hair's crazy under here. I just throw a brush through it, but it's not nice. Um, the place I'm riding is about 30 minutes from me. So I'm packing coffee and a breakfast to eat on the way. I'm going to the same place I went in before. It's just a nice beginner um, trail, pretty flat. You know, when you're getting just started for the season, you don't need anything too difficult. We'll let that cool for a second. I've got my peanut butter. Here, I move you. And I took cranberries. It's a little trick I do to make jelly. So I took cranberries out of my freezer that I had. I'm giving paper towels here, or trying to. You're in my way. It's okay. I need them for the car so I don't get yucky all over me. But um, jelly. So I take the cranberries. And I um, put them in a pan with water. I don't measure, you know I don't measure. And then I added two packets, so I used two big bags of fresh cranberries that I got at Thanksgiving that I had in my freezer. And I took two or three packets of the crystallized lemon, put that in there, put water in there to cover, and I boiled it. And then I added allulose. So allulose is it's a natural sweetener like a monk fruit or stevia. There's really no I don't know any discernible um, flavor aftertaste from it. It doesn't sweeten real well. So the only application that I typically use it in is if I'm making like a sauce. The one benefit to allulose, and it's A-L-L-U-L-O-S-E, is that it actually dissolves when you cook it. And so when it's cold, it doesn't go back to crystal form. Um, my monk fruit can get a little greedy greedy gritty sorry it's still early it's 7 30 um can get a little gritty and i don't like that but just from the natural pectin alone i got like a cranberry jelly so mm, it takes a lot of allulose too because it doesn't sweeten very well just as a heads up on that front but i taste it as i go I don't have a toaster, guys, so I broil this when I do it. I just don't eat enough bread products to justify, I suppose, having a... And this is what my little breads look like. I made them a couple, about a month ago, put them in my freezer. They hold really well. Typically, I would do it like an open face English muffin, but since I'm driving today, I'm just going to make it like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I'll wait a little bit to eat it closer to the ride because I don't want what happened the last time. I just ran out of energy and we can't be having that. But I also packed a bar, an energy or a keto bar. I packed two meat sticks, but I also packed a one ounce baggie full of jelly beans. So if I hit the wall and I need extra energy and I'm gonna actually grab a second bar just in case. So just putting peanut butter. I didn't lick the knife portion. It was on my, on the wooden portion, but it, I'm just putting peanut butter on this. And then I'm adding the cranberry jelly that I made and it freezes super well. So I had almost another full one of these in my freezer. Um, so that, oh, that's too much. Too much jam, guys, too much. So the next round, I will have it, but I just boiled it. Oh, and I put it through a sieve. So to get it smooth, that's personal preference. You can eat the skins, it's not a big deal. But that's what my little breakfast sandwich looks like. It's wrapped up in paper towel layers because there's butter involved and you know, you don't wanna get this all over your car. 
whilst driving. I will probably bring a hand towel with me as well in case we have any spillage and it'll keep it warm. So there's breakfast. We have our coffee ready to go. I'm gonna go put socks and shoes on. I'm gonna try some wool socks, but I'll show you. Okay, I've got my new wool socks. This is a different brand. These are called Darn Tough. These are made in Vermont. They are smart wool blend and they are $17 a pair or something like that. So I'm wearing them cycling today to see how they do in shoes before I go backpacking in them. Yes, yes, I know, I don't untie my shoe. I don't need to with these. That's the great thing about bicycling. You take care, better care of your butt than you need to do your feet. <laughs> But I just want to make sure, um, I like the no-show sock. What I don't like is when they slide down into my shoe. So I like this bumper. Can't see it, but this is thick. There's like thickness to it. It's probably double layered. Um, but yeah, smart wool. We're trying it out. See how it does on the cycling. I also have my water packed. So I have regular water. This is in a insulated container. And then I have in here, and you can see it's frozen at the bottom. And then I put a um, electrolyte tablet, a noon in there. And then all my snacks. And ooh, I spilled some water in here. I'm gonna have to clean that out real quick. But if you are wondering, what one ounce of, let me put this out here. This is the one that spills, I think, yeah. Put it out here, let me get this cleaned up because what I don't want to happen is when I get to the park and all of my snacks are wet and then I stick them in my shirt pocket. So let's just, I'm just gonna quickly clean this up. This is my, the bottom that goes in here. There we go. This is also Pelotonia. If you notice a theme, it's a lunch bag from my work. I think I bought it as a fundraiser. And snacks that I am packing. I have two perfect keto bars. Tissues for my ride. Two little mini meat sticks. Sorry, did you see the keto bars? Maybe not. Two of these, they're perfect keto, they're really small, so I have to bring two, two little tiny meat sticks. And then this is what one ounce of jelly beans looks like. So they do sell energy jelly beans, but I think these will be fine for me since I'm eating other food. And that is 27 jelly bellies, and it's like 26 carbohydrates. So one jelly bean has one carb, basically. Which, I mean, in the scope of life, one average size strawberry also has one carbohydrate. So take that for what it's worth. All right, let's get in the car. All right, guys, we're a little over halfway of my ride this morning. I'm only gonna do 20 miles. I'm feeling kind of dragging today. Who knows what's wrong? But my legs feel like jelly. But I thought I would share my beautiful view. I'm stopping for a break in this beautiful land that I live in. Speedy gets a rest too. And this is the trail. It's kind of smelling like cows today, but you know, whatever. That way, about 10 miles is my car. And then behind me, I believe that is gonna be cornfields. Actually, they should all be corn, I think. Could be soy. I'm not sure what they're planting this season. But that's it. All right, I'm gonna eat my snack. Hi, guys. 
guys, it is Sunday morning. I am just getting up and moving. It's almost nine o'clock. I've been up for a little while, but the boys were being so nice and they let me sleep. And by that, I mean, Wellington sat on my back shoulder and Alex sat on my hip. But after a few screeches on the head, they left me alone and slept themselves. So we did that. Do you see my face, by the way? I'm burnt. This is one hour outside. I have got to remember my sunblock. I do this every spring, I guess we're in. Hi, baby. He is now down here pushing on me to hurry up with his food. I'm coming, get your brother. And this is Wellington, he's not normally my feed me guy. He could care less, but his brother is the hungry hippo. Hungry hippo. Um, oh, give me a better view. I'm gonna make some iced coffee this morning. Although I am wearing a long sleeve shirt, I have shorts on. It's gonna be 54 degrees here. Today is the high, or it's 54 now. The high is going to be like 59 and rainy. So I'm just mixing up their food. Come on, here you go. You can eat right here. Good job, Alex, it's right there. Sometimes they don't know what food is, I swear. All right, but I thought I would show you how I make my coffee in the morning when we do iced coffee. maker wasn't making oh do you see the back of my hair this is why I'm letting it grow I am so tired of fighting with this cowlick I need to put a hat on maybe and sorry the sun is coming through my window weird all right I have this Starbucks iced blonde I love it I have a reusable Starbucks cup in the bottom I have a little flavored syrup today I'm using up some pumpkin cheesecake I know it's not fall handy little thing on the sides here are your lines. I fill mine to here. Almost to there. I'll just fill it up. Because that's it. I might keep this and brew coffee and store it in here because it's really handy. So, iced coffee. Creamer. Make it the color you like. That's what I say. Whatever lightness you like. I stir it, then I add the ice. Fun fact, if I pour it over the ice cubes, it clumps up all the ice, and then I can't get my straw in. But if I do it this way, the ice doesn't seem to clump up into a frozen solid ball of resistance. It's a little full. It might need just a tidge more sweetener and really to, from or syrup. For me, the syrup depends on the coffee that I'm using. Starbucks is always a little stronger. So sometimes I need just a little more syrup than I would normally put in something I brewed. And I don't use syrup a lot, hence the I still have a fall flavor kicking around. I typically prefer to brew a flavored coffee, but I'm running low on coffee. I do have some, but I just felt like iced coffee this morning. Get out and go, I've got errands to run. Let's see. Perfect. I love iced coffee, hot coffee. I like it a lot. So, what are we doing today? Putting the cream back in the fridge. Oh, Debbie didn't love his breakfast. Um, I need to go to the Dollar Tree, finish up that so I can do my Dollar Tree haul today in this shirt and crazy hair. And then I need to run into Kohl's. There's one shirt I want for exercise. I'm going to be purging my fitness clothes. They're just years old. So I thought this is a cute shirt and it will replace some of the old worn out ones. And I need to go to Aldi and get groceries and hopefully all that before the rain comes right tomorrow 
the repairman's coming again. This time, it's my air conditioner. It's not cooling. Now, it's fine. It was just warm the other day, and I turned it on, and it's not cooling my house. So, and I think it's frozen outside. I don't know. So, I'm calling the repair service. <laughs> All these unbudgeted issues, guys. All right, let's go to Kohl's. Guys, I'm in a purging mood. I'm going through all my stuff, my clothing. I'm pulling out summer stuff, winter stuff, things I don't want to keep. I'm not keeping things I do want to keep. I'm storing for next season. But I'm going to tell you, there's going to be some purging happening here. I already purged the stuff off the hangers. Right now, I'm just trying to get them put away. All right. These are, like, this is a big old sweater. I don't need 15, oh, 15 black cardigans, right? We don't need that. I don't need that. I'm not going to wear it. Oh, gray cardigans we need. And, you know, plaid. I feel like we always need plaids. I love that shirt. And, but you know what? Here's the thing. I'm going to go shopping in the fall because I always do. Like, I can't tell you the last time I wore this puffy vest. Gone. Now, these shirts here, I really like them, but I feel like they shrunk. These are Lane Bryant shirts, and this is what happens. Every time I buy Lane Bryant talks, they shrink gone oh I have to keep that that was my mom's one of her favorites and then here so I did good I got everything into one tote I'm trying to get rid of like multiple totes of stuff so let's see this is what I pulled out for summer I like that that is super cute I'll wear that this summer my friends literally friends t-shirt wear that I already purged like five pair of pants. I'm going to keep these three pair of color pants for work in case I have to go back to work. But I need to try them on. Uh, white jeans I'm keeping for work. And these are fun for summer, 4th of July. That's it for the pants that I pulled out. I've got a bunch of jeans I need to go through. And then, let's see, what size is this? Another Wayne Bryant shirt that shrinks weird, so I need to try these on. And I really just need to stop buying shirts at Wayne Bryant because they do the same thing. My crazy cat lady. I saw a picture of me in that shirt. That's a negative. See, here's what happens. Look how short this is. They shrink in the length, and there's nothing I can do about it. Now, this is also a Lane Bryant shirt, but it's super cute. I wear a tank under it. It's a work type shirt. So we'll keep that. Because I like it. I bought it last year. But this is fabric that won't shrink. So I need to hang that up. Uh, my Adidas t-shirt, we'll keep those shirts. And this one I'll keep for now. We'll see if I wear it this summer. It's, it's cute, but it's got this really big ruffle upon it. Am I the only one that does this? And I'm sorting out all of my seasonal shirts, like 4th of July. I know I have other ones behind me, and I'm going to keep them hung in my closet. Because what happens is the, the holiday comes around, and they're not out, and I don't know what to do. But look at the situation. I am a mess, guys. So those shirts are definitely keepers. These shirts are keepers. Hold on, I got more, but there's more. This is just one tote. All right, let me get in here. Here's tote number two. And part of the situation is if I don't take some of these out, I can't put winter clothes away. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, summer. That's seen better days. Like, why did I pack all this stuff up? I'm not going to wear that. 
You know why? Because I got lazy. Look, this is super cute. It's a tank top and I wear it with a little shrug to work. We'll keep that. I do not ever wear that. I might wear this to work. Ah, here we go. <laughs> All the sundresses, which I wear a lot. This one is a something sundress. <gasps> Old Navy sundresses. And I wear them with these little sweater shrugs because they're sleeveless. Oh, I love this sundress. These are all Old Navy. Oh, this is a sundress slash pool cover up. Fun fact, I got these at Walmart, but I love them as a beach cover up slash um, sun shirt. This shirt here, my not so sure about guys but I mean I think this will work it's cute I'll have to try it on some of this stuff I got last year in a um when I was able to do the sample sale like these shirts here and I really never wore them because it was at the end of the season like I like that shirt this is what I wear on fourth of July more sundresses, more sundresses, <laughs> sundresses. I went through this phase where Old Navy had all these dresses and I bought them all because I like them and they're fantastic to wear to work. But I need to check, you know, how they're doing. Oh, this dress, I love this dress. Oh, here's the other sundress I got in this color. Which, again, these are more like beach. Wear them to the beach. Uh, to the pool. Um, I don't love this dress because of the texture of the fabric. So get rid of it. That I've worn enough. I do enjoy that, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, this is cute. I like this a lot. Okay, 4th of July shirt. Which is three quarter length. When am I ever going to wear that? I don't even know what size this is. It was gifted to me. Okay, it's my size. So it says I'm with her. I also enjoy that shirt for summer. And then these are concert tees. That I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. So I think I'm going to go through my concert tees. And I'm going to um, box them up. I don't want to get rid of them. So I like this shirt, but honestly, I can tell you how many times I wore it. But if I have to go back to the office, decisions, guys. All right, I'm going to finish going through all these totes, purge out a bunch of clothes, and then I need to go buy trash bags to put them in to take to Goodwill. So that's our next stop after I go through them all. Ooh, doggy, did I get rid of a lot of clothes. Four big bags. Let me tell you, these Dollar Tree bags for yard waste were great to take stuff to Goodwill. Just saying. So I hope I don't get called back before I have more pants. I don't know. Let's go to Goodwill. I did it. I went through every drawer in my room except for one. I went through all my winter clothes. I went through all the totes in my closet. I put all winter away. I took four plus trash bags to be donated. The only thing I have left is one drawer, which is bras and underwear, which I just need to organize and purge some bras, which I won't donate either of those. And then my sweatshirts and my sweaters just need to be reorganized in my closet and I won't touch those again until fall. Guys, I'm tired. That was a lot of work. It took me a couple hours, but it was necessary. And then I texted my boss and I said, um, I hope you don't expect me to wear pants if we have to go back to work because I just purged them all. I haven't got a response. I got plenty of dresses. I'll go buy pants. And I actually could get rid of three more, three, 
five more pair, but I gotta have something to wear until I find a replacement. All right, guys, I'm done for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna lay here in my bed and I even vacuumed my floor and I vacuumed under my bed. I have wood floors in here. Cat fur, guys, cat fur. All right, I am done for the day. I am done for my vlog for the weekend. And I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with y'all later. Bye.